Welcome back, you guys, to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, Yuna got kidnapped yet again. She really needs to stop doing that. Pretty much. Where is the L? Oh, I know where it is. Maybe. Maybe. Might be more out bed. Keep watch, yeah? Oh, walking like racist. you for a while. Kimari Vale is guardian on Shuba. Kimari never fail again. Yeah, it's kind the of nice. The is just above o Owaka. Yeah. Where? Where? It's on the platform, like above him. Somewhere on there, so just keep like. I don't think it is. Yeah, I was gonna say it's the it's on the platform just about well, head west onto the so oh oh walk. It's not there. You lie to me. Maybe they changed up the locations in the uh I highly doubt they would do that. <laughs> that is weird though. But whatever. Shoopop sleepy. Wait until Shoopop wake up. I guess it's not here. Whatever. Guard Yuna. Yes, sir. What you got? Nope. Only items. Only items. There is a two guado. And an owl bed. Or the chest. Obtain an ether. Now we continue forth. And we're finally gonna be reunited with someone. Finally. Hello there! <laughs> It's Riku! Yep. You're not dead? In probably one of the uh, better uh, looking scenes of the game. It looks really, really pretty. so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? <laughs> oh, that Machina? That was you? Mm -hmm. Oh, that really hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> yeah, well, you're trying to take right. our summoner, but so... You not, you're not very innocent no, yourself, no, no. milady. It's not exactly what you think. Say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an owl bed. <laughs> wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? I'm surprised he didn't realize what he said. Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. I'll be out in a little bit. Waka confused. Good thing, Walker confused. 
Sir Oren. I would like Riku to be my guardian. Just met her, so, but I want to make her a guardian. Yeah. Show me your face. Oh. Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I? By the way, this is before she became a slut. <laughs> yes, I do. Fucking tend to my ass. Ugh. Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. She's the last member of our group, Murray. right? Yeah, right this is all our party. We now have all the party. Yes, yeah, so now we have everybody that we're gonna strange. need in this game to be Even whomever comes next. Even though Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. I'm surprised by that, especially when you went, a bear, a bear. <laughs> yeah. What do we got? Oh, a treasure chest. I wonder what's inside. Treasure chests in battle. We can steal from things. We got two yeah! bomb cores. She's got the ability to steal, as we already knew that from the very beginning of the game. She can steal off pretty much anybody, and then her awesomest power is that she can mix things together to create a big attack whenever she's using her overdrive. Yeah. Which, in the guide, they actually have a mix it. They have a thing for it, actually, so for her overdrive. What, so, bomb core and what else? Both bomb- just do two bomb cores. Bomb cores, okay. I love it very, very much. What did you just do? That was great! I can combine items and use them like this. It's not that tough, really. <laughs> yeah, she's super badass. Yeah, she has lots of mixtures you can do and stuff. I just really hate what they did to her in 10 to. Like, I like Riku a lot, and I just don't like what they did to her. Like, she's... I just felt like they made her a little bit more ditzy in 10 to. Am I wrong? No, I wouldn't say you are. You all are. But then again, look what they did with uh, Yuna in 10 to as well, so... We aren't gonna play 10 2 either. Maybe. Unless we get like really desperate for a game. Which I highly doubt we will. <laughs> My friend yelled at me. She was like, get off your phone. <laughs> she was like, ah, have fun. Now get off your phone or laptop or whatever. I'm like, but I'm not playing. I'm looking through the guide for stuff. <laughs> looking for the guide for help. Actually, yeah, looking ahead. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the mixes in here because they're on the big sphere grid poster that this thing came so with, and I have no clue to that thing. So I would probably have to use the power of the internet uh, to look up her mixes and everything. I forget. Fire? Ice. Blizzard. Thank you. Couldn't remember to save my life at this point. Even though we just did this today. It's alright. Attack the treasure chest and like just destroy it. I don't want to. Well, sometimes you want to because they might have treasure bad. chests actually uh, could be mean in this game too. You might open them and they might turn into a uh, mimics. 
Oh well. And nobody wants that. Mm -mm. Careful what you do, kids. Which I don't think any chests in this road can, but I know a couple. Makalani I think it's in the Makalania Woods? Uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna Google it. I have my guide here. Guada Salam. Guada Salam. Well Yep. Yeah. There's also now the primer here too. Oh, and there's something else here as well. Far plane. Yep, this is kind of a major part of the game. Because you learn things about stuff and you get to see things. We have yep. been expecting Indeed. you, Lady Yuna. Welcome to Guado Salam. This way, my lady. This way. Uh, uh, me? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I beg your pardon. I am called Trommel Guado. I am in the direct service of our leader, the great Seymour Guado. Lord Seymour has very important business with Lady Yuna. Business with me? Whatever could it be, I wonder? Please, uh, come inside the manor. I don't think you realize all the implications of what's going on here, Yuna. Of course, uh, your friends are also welcome. But you will soon. Uh, as I go through like cycles, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot like how to get some of these seagulls is like ridiculous. What? Like to get the sun seagull, get the race the chocobo train in the comments and finish with a time of zero zero zero. We can customize. Yep. So we can make our weapons even better and cooler. Yes. Yeah, I think like the easiest seagulls to get are literally for Yuna's and Nirvana. Oh, and also Aurons. These are so easy. But yeah. And do you know how you get walk one of Waka's? Yeah. Often a surprise in Blitzball League matches, but only after Waka has attack reels, stash reels, and Auroch reels. <laughs> Great. What would you do without me? My Thank favorite you, one. Miku. My favorite one though is uh is for Lulu's for her onion night. Must yeah. invade the lightning on the Thunder Plains two hundred consecutive times without being hit. And also, if you get into a battle, your count restarts. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have to do something. You have to like equip something onto you so you don't run into any battles, and you have to dodge the lightning two hundred times in a row. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> hey, look, it's the guy from. Care to hear about the high road. Plane or yep. Firefly. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, they do have the thing in the back. We can to ask him about the fire plane and the fire fireflies, but I don't think we're gonna do that. We can kind of explain it ourselves. Yeah, we don't need. It. Oh yeah, and there is a thing in the back for a blitzball strategy. Oh gee. Oh, by the way, there was Shalinda in here. We need to go talk to her. I know we don't want to, but we have to. Do we have to? Oh, and I did See, it again. you ran out. You don't, <laughs> want to, you don't want to do it. Don't do it. Shush. Go home. No. I don't want I am home. What are you talking about? I am at home right now. Yeah, I'm talking about Titan. You go home. Excuse. Oh. <laughs> the fairies, Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour has returned to Guado Salam. He's young, but he deserves our respect. Uh, about that. <laughs> Spoilers. Apparently, you can get a ring for Blitzball. A what? Uh, for free agents and stuff for your team, you can get uh, Ren. He can uh be part of your team. Really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. Stay close to Yuna. I'm sorry, but I wonder what smells so nice. I'm sorry, but uh, Guado Salam always kind of creeped me out. I mean, look how creepy Molly it is. Not like Mr. It's all creepy looking. <gasps> in the and yes, pictures on. on like in like the past, uh, I guess. Maester. These are the past leaders. Yeah, past leaders of the Guado. Of the, Guado. Uh, the pictures, the for some reason, it Mr. like reminds Seymour, me of something like them, no. in like the haunted mansion you know? in Disney. Oh my God, you're right. Leader. I don't know. The whole thing just has that. The, I, I could just if the if the bus like he, move or like the the pictures like the moved heads and stuff oh. like that. That would be what would remind me of the haunted mansion being like being like in the 
what's his face, in the uh, Haunted Mansion where the busts are and they're like the heads move. I don't like uh, the smell of this one, eh? I forget what that I forget what that trick is called, but it's really cool. This thing where everything's actually inverted, so like so like instead of being like outside so that it looks like it's moving and it's moved on a thing. It's inside, it's all put inside, and it tricks your eyes into thinking so, so you move one way or the other and it follows you. I yeah, forget what the it just, I don't know why it reminds me of that. I know it's really weird. It's why does he want to see me? I freaking love that ride, too. Best ride. I guess we try to leave. Yep. This way, please. Just get in the habit of leaving and coming back. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah. You need just to go to Disney, you know, just to ride that ride and be like, okay, we can leave. We need to go to Disney, dude. Just need to ride, ride the Haunted Mansion. All right, we can leave now. I'm, I'm set. Ride the actual Haunted Mansion in um I will go in, in Disneyland. I want to go on that one more than anything. Yeah, and just be like, okay, we can go home now. Walks out. Because that the Haunted Mansion has such a rich history and it's beautiful. called us up here for more than just dinner. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, our next what? temple is actually. I didn't even ask a question, and you're explaining. Through the Thunder Plains. You'd Do rather I see woods. nothing then? And then we no, go to no. there. Maybe you so... finally believe I don't know anything about spirits. This many pages. <laughs> and maybe that means you Less believe than an about Zarek this time too. So, well, probably not today, but definitely next time we'll probably get there. Yep, basically. Your Considering Zarekin we do not have much left of our first things. one. I suppose yep, I at this point we're I almost think. done with Either Tales way. of Zealia, which Still, you won't be seeing be for a short period of time, you so... Tell other we'll have lots of time to start working on this. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, and then we can, and we can also, like, we can start doing things off to the side like we were before. Mm-hmm. This is cool! Look at that, um, HD fruit. <laughs> I know, right? It's so much more rendered than everything else in this room. Flowers are pre-rendered. What could it be? Oh my god, you're right! Those flowers are super, like... Look at those flowers! Jeez. Okay, try to leave. Go leave again. Yeah, let's leave. I'm done. I'm, I'm sick of waiting. Oh, we can't leave. Uh, oh, I gotta talk to Orin. Didn't talk to Orin yet. Because he's chilling at the door, he's like, he knows you're gonna leave. So just stay by the door. Why? This guy's just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Excuse. Wait. Are you sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. After this, I'm gonna get some food and you can play. Yay. There is guac. Bring in some extra guac and I chips. I will. I will. I, I don't love. know if we have actual chips, but I think we have like, we have some kind of popped like corn thing. I don't it's... know. Anything you can dip guac into. I love. Oh, it I love is guac good to have guests and you could try again. this. It'll be delicious. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a lost. But if he didn't do that, Lord. he wouldn't be a cool dude. Exactly. <laughs> That's literally how a well, makes that sound. You need a Lord but now. Seymour. Any time that the that Yevon is given to somebody else and everyone gets to learn like, the joy of Yevon, he's like, oh yeah, I'm on board. I don't care whether or not these guys are creepers. I don't care. Yeah. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will show Also, the Guadas creep me out, too. Their, ha the, their hands. Their hands. Their, 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 pan hands. their pants. Their, their hands. Their hands. They're yaoi hands. Oh, They're so big. <laughs> I just think that's such a really interesting and kind of weird design for like to give this to I like mean, give a race. It's just welcome. to give them really big hands. I like what to think for uh, when people Please. when they do that Make designers do that they just like cannot draw There's a hand so that day. They were like, Please keep this, short. this is how we're making it. <laughs> I literally think that is how it works. It I won't complain. It's kind of awesome looking, though. It makes them a lot more threatening. And look at his nails. I like He has, like, a manicure better than most women do. Yeah, but his hands are actually smaller than the average uh, 
water's hands. He's young, though, that's why. Actually, there is a different- there's actually- that's not exactly it. It is because he is not fully a Guado, remember? He is- Oh, yeah, he's only a half He's half Guado. His mother was- his mother was a human. That's why he doesn't look the same as everybody else in the Guado community. Yeah, he- You'll look very close at all the Guados, and he does not look anything like them because he looks more human. Yeah, because his mother But was... his eyebrows, man. Like, I just looked at his eyebrows, and man, he's got them better than most women, too. He has to look the... Well, he is a maester and leader of the Guado. He's gotta look the part. He's gotta look nice. Oh, we're back in Xanarkin. Correct. Xanarkin. Because it looked 1,000 years ago. Just makes you question everything. Looks really badass in there, though. Wondrous, yeah. City, she once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? Look at that. Look at his hair. It's I so know. textured. It really is. Like You just want to run your fingers through it. And I'm just a voice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, he's just like, you want to touch it. You do! So textured. It, I mean, everything in this game is textured. Like, you- Look at the stuff on the walls! Like, holy crap! But speaking of crazy hair, we thought Seymour had crazy hair. Look at her Unaleska. hair. Unaleska. She was the first. She has the craziest the hair of them all. I mean, look at that! Unless that's, like, part of, like, a headdress or something. I don't know. It could be. It looks awesome, though. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face sin, as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone. To defeat the undefeatable sin, it took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity. A.K.A. she got married. Yep. What he's trying to say is that Well, look at that guy! <laughs> She yes. got married to that dude. The guy who has a whole bunch of clothes on and her who she does not have any clothes on. But the thing that he's trying to say is that he thinks that Yuna needs to get married. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. And because Okay, yeah, it is a headdress. It's not a part of her hair. Now that you can actually see this in HD, you can actually tell it's a freaking headdress <laughs> and not her fucking hair. So even so, she has some crazy ass hair. But not as but Seymour, he has the craziest of them all. Yes. Also, I just need to look at them for a second. Okay. <laughs> yes. As you can see, Yuna is very confused at this point. Yeah, because, I'd be too. We just told you why, so if you weren't paying attention, listen up. Because <laughs> they will explain this soon enough. Like, within the next two seconds, kind of, soon enough. Oh, I need some... I am in such anguish right now. Oh my gosh. I need some water. <sighs> I need to drink it with, like, both hands. Wow, yeah. I'd be in shock too, you know, don't worry. I mean, holy jeez. He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna... No. All summoners are charged with bringing peace to spirit. But this means more than just defeating sin. She must ease the suffering of all spirit. Yeah, she nothing would ease the suffering more the than a wedding. I but quite literally, um, Yuna is 17 and Seymour is 28. Is no playhouse. So it's even I'm more awkward. So I was gonna say, how do you think you would feel if a 28 year old, uh, Dude, just be like, yo, baby, marry me. I know you're only 17, but hey, we're we we're meant to be, damn it. We're meant to be. <laughs> Besides, you're you're adult enough. There's no need to answer. <laughs> <laughs> you're adult enough. 
I mean, so. I can't ex- oh, that's a, se- that's a secret! No! Oh, I want- I was almost about to say something that would spoil. Then we'd have to start all over again from the beginning! Okay, restart. <laughs> restart! Okay, good thing you stopped yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm- uh, Oh yeah, no, I had to look up, like, their age differences. I wasn't sure that you actually gave me Seymour's age, but yeah, no, this guy's like 20 freaking 8 heart. years old. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Or it's like, ah, stop. <laughs> Burns. There is no, sh- there was no shower at the last temple. Mm-mm. Okay, anyways, now that it's <laughs> gone on too long, we're gonna cut the episode off here. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, bye bye.